Mikel Arteta does not need to lead Arsenal to the Premier League title this season as long as the team continues improving, Ally McCoist has exclusively told Sports Mole. The Gunners have been Manchester City's closest challengers in the past two seasons and only finished two points behind Pep Guardiola's side in 2023-24, having managed to take four points from a possible six against the champions last term. However, they remain without a Premier League title since their invincibles in 2003-2004, and have only won one major trophy, the 2019-20 FA Cup, under Arteta as he enters his sixth season as manager. When asked whether he thinks Arteta needs to win the title this season, McCoy's told Sports Mole no I don't. I don't actually and he'll tell you why and my reasoning for it. I'm of the opinion if you're an Arsenal fan you've got to sit back and be disappointed that you haven't won anything more than the FA Cup in the first season, but if you take a kind of logical look at the whole situation, there has been massive improvement in Arsenal. So the next step is you want to win things, but as long as your club is continuing to progress, in my opinion, and heading in the right direction, I think that's one of, if not the most important thing. Earlier this week, McCoyce told Sports Mole that Rodgers' season-ending injury could be enough to cost Man City the title this season, potentially increasing the chances of Arsenal ending their two-decade wait to be crowned champions of England. Since Arteta won the FA Cup with Arsenal more than four years ago, Eric Ten Hag, Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Thomas Tuchel and Brendan Rodgers have all won major silverware in English football, but while Arsenal supporters might crave further success, McCoyst thinks it is important to take a holistic view of Arteta's work at the club. Listen, I know Arsenal supporters want a trophy, of course they do, but you've got to say the last couple of years they've given us neutrals incredible excitement, they genuinely have, McCoyst told Sports Mole. The feeling within the stadium the last couple of years has changed, it's just a good place to watch football. The atmosphere, everything about it. I think Arsenal are in a good place. Arteta has previously spoken about the improved atmosphere at the Emirates, and has even said that he would love for fans to make the stadium a hostile environment for opposition teams. Arsenal's attacking prowess has no doubt helped boost excitement amongst fans, with the Gunners having scored 88 Premier League goals in 2022-23 and 91 goals in 2023-24, higher tallies than the 73 they managed in their unbeaten title-winning season of 2003-2004. Arsenal are currently fourth in the Premier League with 11 points after five matches and have come in for criticism this season for supposed gamesmanship and pragmatism particularly when they were reduced to 10 men against both Brighton and Hove Albion and Manchester City. However, McCoist feels that any pressure on the Arsenal boss is premature and that Arteta continuing his work is in the best interest of the fans. I'm of the opinion that the club's improving and I think that the majority of that is down to the manager, Arteta, who I think is doing a great job, I really do, McCoist told Sports Mole. I understand the question of well how much time does he get, but the main thing for me, and I think it's vitally important, the club is still heading in a positive direction, and that's got to be in the best interest of all them fans. The Gunners have already played Aston Villa, Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City away from home and have collected seven points from a possible nine, a return that few clubs would expect to total. Arsenal beat Bolton Wanderers 5-1 in the third round of the EFL Cup on Wednesday, and will play newly promoted Leicester City on Saturday at the Emirates. Arsenal and Manchester City may be fighting for the Premier League title, but Mikel Arteta and Pep Guardiola are still on good terms. Mikel Arteta insists the title fight between Arsenal and Manchester City will not affect his relationship with Pep Guardiola. The sides played out a dramatic 2-2 draw in the Premier League last Sunday, with City snatching a last gasp equaliser after 10-man Arsenal had staunchly defended throughout the second half. Leandro Trossard was dismissed at the end of the first half, receiving a second yellow card for kicking the ball away, and Arsenal were accused of using the dark arts in their attempts to come away with three points. The Gunners spent a total of nine minutes and four seconds on their goal kicks in Sunday's match the most by any team in a Premier League game this season. Meanwhile, the average delay at Arsenal restarts goal kicks, throw-ins and free kicks was 42.7 seconds, with only Aston Villa vs Wolves 47.3 taking longer this term. Multiple City players have since criticised the tactics, with arguments also taking place on the pitch, but Arteta says his friendship with Guardiola would not suffer because of any on-pitch disagreements. I love him Guardiola. I respect him and admire him. 
I admire his team and everything he does, Arteta said. This is sport. One thing is our professional, another is my personal relationship. If that has to be damaged because we play against each other, then I wouldn't talk to him anymore. That's not the relationship I consider both of us have. Sport will never get in my way for a personal relationship, for sure. Asked if the accusations aimed at Arsenal could affect it, Arteta added it depends. If it's true, but if it's not, and you show your integrity, do what you think is right, it doesn't have to. It's opinions. If you don't like them, you shouldn't be sitting where I am. It's simple, don't take it personally, make sure you handle the things you care about in the right way, and I really care about that relationship. It's the same as a lot of staff and players I've spent very important years of my life working with. Arsenal are back in action against Leicester City in the Premier League on Saturday.